Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Revit Drifter 3 H2O gloves. The Revit Drifter 3 H2O gloves are waterproof summer gloves that are ideal for commuting or touring on warmer days. They're dead simple and they're designed for comfort ahead of anything else. They combine Revit's PWR abrasion resistant fabric across the back of the hand with goat hide palms that blend flexibility and protection. The goat hide here is treated for water resistance, although there is a Hydrotex waterproof membrane inside the glove to deliver full waterproofing, so that only really contributes that water resistance on the outside. The palm is beefed up around the parts that grip the handlebars with a texture section that also protects against premature wear, so you know the gloves aren't going to wear out in double quick time. The fingertips have an overlay that means you can use a touchscreen without taking them off, and then there's a basic suede-like visor wipe on the left forefinger. There's an insert of Revit's Seasoft armour material at the heel of the palm, which adds a layer of impact protection and also relieves pressure from resting your hands on the handlebars. That's the same material that Revit use in their jackets and their trousers as limb protectors. The gloves fasten with a dead simple cuff wrap and wrist strap, which is on the underside of the hand, as that's where it's most effective at keeping the gloves on your hands. Across the back of the hand, there are extensive accordion stretch panels, and they really do boost the flexibility of these gloves. Then there are thin layers of foam on the back of the hands and also on the fingers, but these aren't really designed to offer heavy duty impact protection. The safety rating for these gloves is level one in the CE standard. That's quite a common rating, but what's not so common is that these gloves don't include knuckle protection. It's pretty obvious from looking at them that there's no impact protection there. That's not a particularly common factor in gloves these days, but it shows that these were really designed with comfort in mind rather than impact protection. They really deliver on the comfort score and I took these gloves on not expecting to really be running them for very long. They were just available and new at the time. I thought I'd spend a couple of weeks in them and move on, but they've been really comfortable and dead convenient and I just ended up wearing them quite a lot. There's no thermal liner, so they're best in slightly warmer conditions. I tend to wear them from about 12 degrees upwards and I've been okay, but that's always going to depend on how sensitive every rider is to the cold. The waterproof membrane's been really effective in my experience and I like the overall simplicity of the gloves. The touchscreen panels work really well. They don't work all that well on all gloves, but they're really good on this. So it's easy to use a phone or a sat-nav without taking the gloves off. What's not so great is the visor wipe. It's a really simple suede panel, so it tends to saturate quite easily and it's not great if you're on a long ride in the rain. That's why I tend to keep these gloves for commuting rather than for long tours but they're really nicely made and as a simple pair of no-nonsense gloves, they make a lot of sense. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Revit Drifter 3 H2O gloves, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.